Hi, and welcome to this new Greedy Utilities tutorial. In this video, you're going to see how to create section graphs inside this plugin. We're going to use uh, this section of the graphic representations that you can also find inside the toolbar right over here. So we start from a model that I've created, and I've also drawn a polyline below. It's a 2D polyline, and we're going to use this as the axis for creating our sections. So I'm going to go on build lines. I'm selecting the polyline. I begin with this point and I end with this one. I also insert a step value. And uh, in this case, I'm going to use a step value of 40. I'm also going to insert a width value, in this case 60. And as you can see, the section were created. I'm going to delete this because it doesn't belong on the model. Okay, so in case I need to create a new section in this point, I can use build line, which builds a single section line in a specified point. So basically, by using build line, I select a polyline, I pick a point right on the polyline itself, and again, I insert the width value of 60 again. And when I'm happy overall with all my sections, I can decide to create the graphs of these sections. So by going on build graphs on section lines, I select this command, I select everything, and I go enter, and it will prompt me uh, asking for a new file that will be created to store the sections. So I created a new file, and as you can see, I'm inside this new uh, AutoCAD file. So now it asks me for various information to be displayed in the um, in the graph. You can also choose a language and by going on new line you insert the information that you need. In this case elevation difference, you have slope, slope partials, stations and so on. You can decide scale and various uh, options for every line. So I'm going to insert some lines here, partials, slope and also slope partials. Okay, and I'm going on next. I'm going on next also here and as for the reference elevation insertion, uh, I've checked before and all my elevations are above 190 so I'm going to insert 190. This is to avoid uh, the graphs being too long. So 190, I select the sections, I update them and I go on execute. And it will prompt me again with the same window of before. This time, uh, I'm going to insert the data that I want to be displayed in the graph of this one, this section in particular, which is the um, profile section. So again, I'm going a new line. I'm inserting some information. Only three are enough this time. Next again, I let 190. And OK. As you can see, at the left side, we have the separated sections that we created, while on the right side we have the profile section that runs over the polyline itself. So, in case you need to edit a particular section, all you have to do is use the edit graph command. You select the sections you need to edit, give it a color, in this case a red, and it will be colored of red, of course. And now by using edit 2D 3D polyline, I'm going to modify the polyline itself. So I can do something like this. And the polyline was edited, but as you can see, the graph is still the same as before. To update it, simply go on rebuild graphs, click over it. And when you launch this command, the graph will be automatically updated to the new uh, created polyline. So as you can see, we saw how to create uh, sections and graph sections inside 3D Utilities 